Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Rhea and Sedith were not their usual selves. What happened to Teach that's questionable? And what really awaits at the Holy Tomb? The way they were acting, I don't think they have any plans of sharing that information. Hi, Flame. Have the Four Saints caught your fancy? Hello there, Claude. No, not particularly. I was merely looking. I see. In any case, do you mind if I ask you a little something? It's about your family's origin. This again? <laughs> there is truly nothing of interest to discuss on that topic. Ah, but when you try to change the subject like that, it drives me mad with curiosity. 
That said, taking a secret by force isn't my style. That's why I devised a different approach. Relentless nagging. Might I suggest giving up entirely? Truth be told, my brother has asked that I not speak of my background to anyone. I thought it might be something like that. Oh well, guess I'd better give up on trying to get you to tell me yourself. Instead, why don't I tell you about the theory I've come up with? You've concocted a theory, have you? I suppose there is no harm in listening to it. I did a bit of investigating into the crests that you and Seteth bear. Seteth's is the major crest of Keyhole, and yours is the major crest of Sethleen. Where did you learn of this? Oh, I just took a peek at some records by a renowned crest scholar. I'd rather not say more than that. Anyway, my point is that I don't think I've ever heard of two siblings each bearing the major crests of a pair of saints. If the legends are true, then Saint Keyhole was Saint Sethleen's father, wasn't he? Which means if you and Seteth were the descendants of Saint Sethleen, that would explain how you two came to possess Keyhole and Sethleen's crests. You mean to suggest that my brother and I are the children's children's children of Sethleen? That about sums it up. <laughs> An interesting theory, to say the least. But surely you must know. Saint Sethleen was never married. There are no tales of her having ever had children. Sure, sure, but the possibilities are endless. It's not like legends are known for their accuracy. But, based on your reaction, I guess I'm probably following a bad lead here. Tell me, Marianne, do you have a love of flowers? Um, well, I don't dislike them. I've happened upon a spot that's just teeming with splendid blossoms. Would you like me to show you? I think I would rather stay. It would be for the best if you kept your distance from me. Well, perhaps I could pick a few of the nicest and present them to you. With a beautiful bouquet in your arms, your magnificence would rival even that of the goddess. I would never compare myself to the beauty of the goddess. I see. Well, I don't mind. Oh, that is a lovely handkerchief you've got there. Did you know that a handkerchief reflects the sensitivity of its owner? Yours tells me you have quite a refined sensibility. If you only applied yourself a little more to the rest of your ensemble, there is no doubt in my mind. If you admire my handkerchief so much, you may have it. Uh, no, please, that is not what I meant. It was a gift from my adoptive father. I didn't choose it for myself. I'm sure I don't share his refined sensibilities, though, considering how little he and I have in common. I have to go. Such beauty. And yet, with just a little polish, she'd be a marvel. If only she'd put in some effort. Hmm. I wonder. Indeed, I shall make it my mission to awaken her beauty. There is nothing that I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, cannot do. Huh. <sighs> What are you looking at there? Anything interesting? Let me have a look. Three apples, two bags of ointment, one piece of graphite. Intriguing. Some sort of code, perhaps? Nah, I was just asked to go out and buy the stuff on this list. Oh, that's all? Sorry for interrupting in that case. This is kind of a one-person job, so I won't bother you by offering aid. <clears throat> You actually helped a lot just now, reading that list for me like you did. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody, because I've been trying to keep it a secret, but... I don't know how to read, so I wasn't sure what to do with the list. Is that so? But why do you keep it a secret? I'd hate it if people figured I wasn't up to a job just because I couldn't read. You're always welcome to call on me for help. I'd be happy to. Thanks. I will. I really mean that. Anything you need. Okay. Good. Now, you better go get those supplies before it gets dark. Do you remember everything on the list? 
Need me to read it one more time for you? That would be pretty helpful, actually. All right, listen up. I'm not gonna do this a third time. Lysithia's not a good liar, is she? She knew I was in trouble right away. Hang on. Did she just want to act like a big sister again? But she looked real happy when she was helping me. And I think I'd like to see that smile again sometime. Hey, Teach. Is it okay for you to be out on your own right now? Just please be careful not to topple over again. You scared us nearly to death. Anyway, doesn't Rayo want something from you? Sounds important. I'm glad I'll be there to witness the ritual at the Holy Tomb. I want to see whether or not something happens with my own eyes. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes? Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. Oh, Professor, I am so happy! Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But, recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm... Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Your hair! And your eyes! What happened to you? You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? I see. Well, that makes me feel better. But still, be careful. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach? Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. As the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. How are you, Professor? Did Hanuman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I've a bit of research I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanuman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. Long ago, Saint Seros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess, as well as incredible power. Is that what happened to you too, Professor? No way! The Professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation, right? Still, I wonder, does the fact that you've changed really mean you've been granted some kind of power? If that's the case, then what sort of revelation can be gained from the ritual? I'm guessing the revelation will just be a gentle reminder to use this new power to save the people of Fodlin. What else is there to say? You don't actually believe we're going to hear the voice of the goddess, do you? When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be alright, but don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. You look so... different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? That's disappointing. What's even the point? So, this month's mission is to take part in a ritual at the Holy Tomb, where you will receive a revelation from the goddess herself. What if she really appears? What if I finally get to gaze upon her radiance? I've always imagined the goddess. How beautiful she must be. I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the Holy Tomb. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure. And it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? I can't help but wonder, though. Just what kind of ritual is this? 
Professor, I have a request for you. Would you accept me into your class? I'm sure I would learn so much more if I could study with you. Will you give me that chance? I can? Thank you! You won't regret this. I'm going to give it my all. You've been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation too. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. Maybe that part never found its way into the legend? It is told that Saros had a revelation, instructing her to use her power for good, and to lead the people of Fodland to salvation. I wonder what sort of revelation you might have, Professor. Good timing, Professor. There's actually something I want to speak with you about. Will you put me in your class too? There are so many things I want to learn from you. Being in another class makes it especially challenging. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to studying under you. I will be extra diligent with my studies. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, Professor! I have a small request for you. I'd love it if you would add me to your class. I can just tell that studying under you every day would be such a treat. Wow, really? Thank you so much! I'm so happy! I hope to learn a lot from you. Things certainly have changed lately. Not that I mind. Or perhaps the only thing that's different is how you look. Or has your personality changed too? Is that so? You're not a great liar, you know. Well, whatever the case, I still like you just the same as I always have. Hey pal, how you holding up? The human body is strong, but we all have our limits. Even folks who fraternize with the goddess. How was she, by the way? A real knockout, yeah? Really? Huh, that's... a letdown. Well, in any case, we have our work cut out for us. No telling what they're planning next. My word! It seems that the rumors of you receiving the Goddess's power were true. But you're still you, obviously. Good. It would be a shame if you changed into someone I didn't like. It's clear to me, at least, that you are something more than you were. Something special. Yeah, yeah. I just hope this newfound specialness doesn't spell trouble for the rest of us. Mm. Yes, it's decided. This meat is the best meat. Although the other inn has pretty great offerings as well. Ah, if it isn't Ingrid. What are you up to in a place like this? <gasps> Yuri! I could ask you the same. I'm just out to send a little money to my family. Gotta help however I can, you know. Oh, that's very nice of you. Forgive my tone earlier. You truly set a noble example. Right, right. Anyhow, looked like I interrupted you. You nearly choked on that wad of meat you were gnawing on. Uh, right. That... that is true, I suppose. Hmm. You know, I... um... What is it you're mumbling about? Oh, um, nothing. Anyway, you once worked for House Roe, didn't you? Four years ago, when I visited Count Roe at his castle, I swore I saw you by his side. Quite the sharp memory you have. You aren't mistaken. I was staying there then, yes. I had been adopted by the Count. Oh? Come to think of it, I thought I'd heard something like that. That the Count had adopted a distant relative of his, a young man whose future was both bright and promising. So, that was you? Yep. Although now, I'm nothing more than a distant stranger to him. Our ties were severed a while ago. He helped me out by getting me into the academy. It wasn't long after that that we started having all sorts of... disagreements. 
<laughs> what the hell were you doing visiting House Row anyhow? Ah, uh, yes. That. How to put it. It was to help clean up after a friend. Well, whatever the circumstances, sounds like you had quite the mess to clean up. Back to the point. What are you doing out here? Do you frequent this area often? Mind your business, won't you? I just like to go for walks, get fresh air, that sort of thing. Easy now. I'm not interrogating you. Really, I just wanted to warn you that it isn't so safe here in the evenings. You'll want to be on your guard. I thank you for your concern, but I assure you I can handle myself. Noted. Oh yeah, the innkeeper also wanted me to thank you. Hmm? He wanted to thank you for being such an enthusiast for the food he sells. Seemed pretty happy about it. <laughs> Is that so? How very... <sighs> well, I'd better be off. Seems she doesn't want anyone seeing her with a face full of food. Too late. Dreaming, or is that you, Mercedes? How serendipitous it is to see you again! Yes, and here we are! You were so small when I saw you last. How you've grown! I cannot express how worried I was to hear that you had left House Bartels. I was turned away any time I asked about you, and of course Emil would never tell me anything. I'm sorry. There was so much going on in House Bartels back then. But enough about all that. How are you, Constance? I hear you've had hardships of your own. Indeed. House Nouvelle is no more, and I went alone to the School of Sorcery. Oh! You went to the Royal School of Sorcery? Just before I began at the Officers' Academy, I was studying there as well. You were? It must have been after my graduation in 1177. That was the year I enrolled. We probably just missed each other. No! You mean to say that if I had stayed a trifle longer, we could have been reunited sooner? It seems so. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear Constance. When we were little, I thought of you as my little sister. But now that you've grown up, I think our roles might be reversed. I'll be looking up to you now, and maybe even asking for your help sometimes. You'd ask for my help? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. And yet you're seeing it. You know, I had another friend at the school. Her name is Annie. Why don't we all have some tea together? I'm sure you two would really hit it off. You must meet Annette. Yes, I would welcome the chance to have a long chat with her. I'll prepare the tea straight away. Oh, no need to rush. The tea isn't going anywhere. Don't be ridiculous. Time is always of the essence. Why put off for later what I... I... could. Constance? I wonder what's the matter? Did something happen? Mercedes, sharing your precious time with me is perhaps more than I deserve. What do you mean? Why sit with me when you could share your tea time with someone else? I shall instead stand and serve the tea, though if my presence still proves to be a burden... Goodness, of course it isn't! Are you feeling all right? My feelings are immaterial. Pardon me while I fetch the tea leaves at once. Until a moment ago, everything seemed all right. Why did she change so suddenly? I'll have to ask her what's going on. Thanks so much for the help. We should be able to manage on our own from here. I'm glad to be of use. If there's anything else you need, come find me anytime. Well, well. You seem to be pretty chummy with the knights. Chummy? I suppose. Really, I was just helping out with some equipment repairs. For an assignment or something? No. It just looked like they could use a hand, so I lent one. To me, it looked like they were using you for some unpaid labor. Unpaid labor? <laughs> I helped them because I wanted to, Happy. I wasn't expecting to be paid. It's like when you help us with our assignments. 
We don't pay you for that, do we? Like I have a choice. Can I give you some advice, Freckles? Don't support the Knights, the Church, any of them. All you'll get in return is a knife in the back. Isn't that a little dramatic? You really don't need to worry about that with most people. You're naive. Those two-faced buffoons exasperate me so much I can hardly help but... Oh, uh, uh, hey! That reminds me of a great story. You have to hear this one. It's called, um... Oh! The Luna Knight's Tale. Yeah, I, I think you'll love this. On second thought, maybe a story about a knight isn't what you want to hear right now. You know, the knights in stories aren't like the ones in real life. Unless the Luna Knight is a liar who does terrible things. No, uh, of course not. The Luna Knight is the hero of the story. She's from an offshoot of House Blathet, marries into House Regan after the Crescent Moon War. In peacetime, she sets aside her weapons and devotes herself to giving wise counsel to her husband. In this role, she ensures that the dishonest and unfaithful are dealt with accordingly. Huh. She sounds like a real hero. Very much so, yes. The tale is full of fascinating details about her. Ash, sorry to interrupt, but if you're not too busy, we could really use your help right now. Of course. Be right there. I'll tell you the rest of the tale later, okay, Happy? Um, sure, I guess. But seriously, watch yourself, okay? I don't want you to learn I'm right the hard way. See ya, Freckles. I can hardly wait to hear that riveting story of yours. Using me? I never thought about it that way. Hey, pal, any idea where Happy is? This is bad. Real bad. It's nothing. Ugh. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll tell you what's happened. Thing is, a box was delivered yesterday. Filled with... feathers. Pricey ones. For bedding. Happy loves a good nap, so she climbed on in. Now she and the box are nowhere to be found. I checked with my merchant contacts. Out, it was taken to Enbar to be sold on the black market. You catch what I'm throwing, yeah? Happy was fast asleep in the thing when it was stolen. Oh, but it can. Th that's happy for you. She runs like clockwork, that one. Goes to bed at sunset and won't wake up until sunrise. If we don't go and find her, something terrible could happen. One sigh and a demonic beast could come barreling through town. Right! The way I see it, I have no choice but to rush off and rescue her. You in? <laughs> Knew I could count on you! Let's get to it! Finally, we're here! Now, where's Happy? We've gotta find her before that box is sold. Let's split up and search the town. We'll cover more ground that way. believe you be well i can but that doesn't make me any less angry whoa easy there i have a good reason trust me don't even try to weasel your way out of this Ooh, you're the worst you didn't need to find me i was relaxing in abyss he made up that story as an excuse to drag you here look i may be a scoundrel but i stand by what i did let me explain I got a tip off that an item was being sold on the black market today. Not just any item, my mom's... There you are! How dare you interfere with our business! You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. You're finished! We'll continue story time later. First, I'll need your help clearing out these thugs. We got what we came for. With this... My sweet daughter will finally... Yes, the young mistress will finally be safe again. Let's return home at once. But first, oh dear, it seems some thieves are causing trouble in town. Thieves? 
goddess. No. We must hold on to our treasure. There's just one thing you need to remember, yeah? If you see anyone with something that looks like a hero's relic, grab it. You already know this, but it would get real bad real quick if we let them run wild with that thing. Wait a second. How did a hero's relic end up being sold on the black market? Predictable. Each battle, a chance to grow. Sorry, the victory is mine. with me. blind eye for a man in need? If not, I fear you have left me no choice. Yeah, not gonna happen. Thing. Is that what you were looking for, B? That's it, all right. Oh, that horrible sound. I can't stand it. I'm sorry we let this happen. you can do, pal. At least we got it back. I know I owe you and Happy an apology, so, uh, I'm sorry. Really sorry. Mean that. I'm sure you had your reasons. When we get back, you better explain what the heck those reasons were. So, what's the story with this hero's relic? Well, it's not exactly a real relic, per se. Nope. It's a replica, crafted after the War of Heroes. It's a secret family heirloom of sorts, from my mom's village. Somehow, word of it got out recently. As happens with valuable things, it was stolen soon after. So, when you heard it might be on the black market, you tricked others into helping you steal it by telling them I'd been kidnapped. You're still mad, yeah? Look, I'm sorry, okay? There, you can go ahead and cheer up now. I only did it because if they turned into monsters, there was a chance I couldn't take them on my own. Couldn't risk telling you the truth. If the church had caught wind, they'd have taken it for themselves. How uncharacteristically wise of you, be. So that's why you felt a need for this bizarre scheme. Oh, and Professor, I guess I owe you an apology too. Sorry, shouldn't have done you like that. I guess if Chatterbox can forgive you, I can too. You were doing it for your family after all. What was up with that noble guy though? He didn't seem interested in hearing what we had to say. 
Yeah, good point. I wonder why he wanted this thing to begin with. Are you sure you want to return this thing to your village? People might come looking for it. Good point. I actually got a letter from my mom on the subject. She suggested it would be safer in Garrick Mach. She also said my crest should allow me to use it. She's entrusting it to me. Which is a bad idea, so I'm entrusting it to you, Professor. Positive. You'll know what to do with it. Give it to me or someone else. Whatever you think. Um, B, that's a priceless artifact. Sure is. Lose it and you'll owe me. <laughs> Closer. Hey, Leone. What are you up to? Oh, come on. What'd you do that for? Look, you ran my quarry off. You were hunting? Ooh, is the dining hall that short on food supplies? No, but I like to hunt every now and again. Keep my skills sharp. I suppose so. You're from a family of hunters, right? Well, there's no shortage of prey to hunt around here. True. Not many hunters around the monastery, huh? Rivers full of fish, trees bursting with fruit, mushrooms ready to harvest all over. It's the kind of place where you can really be self-sufficient. Guess we can thank the goddess for that. Uh, I don't know. I'm more inclined to thank the bountiful earth than the goddess for such things. The goddess may offer spiritual guidance, but she doesn't fill our bellies, that's for sure. Not a very noble-sounding thing, to disregard the goddess and honor the land. Leone. Whose grace do you suppose humans live by? The goddess? The nobility? I'd say it's neither. It's the endless bounty of this magnificent land that gives us life. Won't hear me deny it. But who's to say it isn't the goddess whose protection makes nature thrive? I'm not the most devout person, but I'm not about to go around saying we don't need the goddess at all. I said she gives spiritual support, didn't I? I wouldn't go so far as to say she's wholly unnecessary. But in Elmira, Dagda, Bridget, and plenty of other places, they don't believe in the goddess. Nature is a blessing that knows nothing of borders. The goddess is the goddess, and the earth is the earth. They should both be revered for what they are. Hmm. Look, this is just my personal opinion. If you truly believe that everything depends on the goddess of Saros, that's your... Hey, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a believer, but I know there are those who aren't. And I kind of like your way of thinking. Giving thanks to nature and all. It makes sense. I knew a wild girl like you would be able to get behind an idea like that. What? Like I'm feral or something? Hey, you know, this kind of talk could be viewed as heresy if it was public. Yeah, probably. We'll just have to keep it to ourselves. Hey, Marianne? Are you there? Yes. Can I help you? Do you have a minute? Huh? Oh, um, I... Then, if you don't mind, would you come with me for a moment? So, um, did you need something from me? Yes, indeed. I have an urgent request. Have I done something? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. Really, you don't have to worry. Um... Would you close your eyes, please? Then how will I know where I'm going? Just take my hand. That's it. There, right there. Perfect. Now open your eyes. Oh, the town is glowing from the sunset. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Very much so. I was looking at it earlier and I thought to myself, I have to show Marianne. But why me? Because you're always looking at your shoes. You never get a chance to appreciate the scenery. Oh, I... See, the best thing about the scenery is, it's always changing. With the weather, the time of day, the season. So every view is unique. Never to be repeated. If no one sees it, it's lost. You could have just enjoyed it on your own. I wanted to share this beautiful landscape with you. Thank you. I... I'm not sure what to say. Hey, that's okay. I won't try to express this beauty in words either. 
Just look and remember. This will make for a nice memory. And maybe remember that I was here too. I... I will. I really will. Hello, Raphael. Are you well? Any chance you might be training today? Of course! My muscles are always ready to train. I imagine so. Mind if I tag along? I have been practicing my battle cries. I believe you shall notice a marked improvement. Raw! Yeah! Wow! That sounds much better than last time. But, try doing it more like this. Oh, hearing it anew is positively invigorating. I have much training ahead if I am to become as strong as you. Try not to strain yourself. You've got smarts, so you shouldn't have to worry about your muscles. I won't be satisfied until my body is as strong as my mind. As my body is so frail, my brother is endlessly worrying over me. I know what that's like. I have a little sister, too. I always worry about her, even when it's something small, like catching a cold. Then surely you understand. I want to give my brother peace of mind. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to do all the things I wish to do. But I'm quite enjoying this. I have never shouted so loudly in all my life. Each time I allow myself to let go in such a way, I feel invigorated. Well, if you're having fun, I'm not gonna stop you. Go on and shout as much as you want. Give it all you've got and make your brother proud. Just you wait. I've only just begun. All right. Gather up your energy deep in your gut and get ready to shout. You're going to receive the goddess's revelation at the holy tomb? That's news to me. I did not see that coming. Lady Rhea's going too, right? I hear it will be well guarded, but is that really okay? If Solon's allies are still around, it's certainly true that we don't know when or where they may appear. I don't know what type of place this holy tomb is, but we should be cautious. If something happens, we'll have to take matters into our own hands. What do you think, Professor? Is it really okay for Lady Rhea to attend? It seems to be tightly sealed, I'll give you that. We should be fine as long as nothing goes terribly wrong. Yep, just as long as nothing goes wrong. Well, the truth is, we won't know what's going to happen until it happens. All we can do is stay on our guard and play it by ear. That's quite enough babbling, Claude. There is nobody more unfit for a holy ceremony than you. Um, divine punishment won't strike us for setting foot in the holy tomb, right? Good grief. Why are you always so negative? Hmm? Flame? Is something on your mind? Who, me? No. It is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. It still doesn't make sense to me. A goddess was living inside Teach, right? But now there's a ceremony to receive a revelation or whatever. How could that be necessary anymore? There must be another objective. <sighs> it's pointless to speculate about it now. We'll know the answer soon enough. There isn't any danger for us students, but be careful, Teach. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. That mechanism for descending underground back there, what power is it? When I tried to come by myself, it wouldn't even budge. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. A 
could possibly be missing? Sorry to disturb you when you're distressed, Archbishop, but it seems some uninvited guests have arrived. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> the Imperial Army? What are they doing here? So... They knew we were heading to the Holy Tomb and followed us here. Hey, who is that standing next to the angry guy? Could that be... The Flame Emperor. I see. So you've been allied with the Empire from the beginning. What are they doing here? What do they hope to gain? There's only one goal for grave robbers like these. Right, Flame Emperor? You're here to steal the treasure that rests within the Holy Tomb. For a fool, you catch on quickly. Those crest stones will be ours. That infernal power, which is masquerading as a medicine but is truly a poison, will plague this world no longer. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The Crest Stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can. I guess we're fighting over who gets those crest stones. What in the world do they intend to use them for, anyway? No hesitation! Each battle, a chance to grow. My moment has arrived! That's the golden deer for you. Who's next? Now that feels good. Do it! At least you're no coward. Take away the crest stones. All of them. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Magnificent. I am still far from my best. This is what I do. I get things done. <laughs> I'm getting better. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Wait, no, I was just following orders. I just
so you're the fabled Flame Emperor? Go ahead and enlighten me. What are you planning to do with the Crest Stones? What did you use Flame's blood for? Who's Kranya? Who's Solon? Silence! There is no need for you to know. Is it that mask that's to blame for your curtness? If so, maybe I should rip it off and ask again. So, the end has come. Is this some sick joke? The Flame Emperor is actually Edelgard? You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresbelg would dare betray the Holy Church. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished! You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. I'm not exactly on friendly terms with the princess, but I do have a few questions for her. Edelgard said that the Crest Stones represent power. That means she knows how to use them. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. I just hope there's still time. I have this strange feeling that history is being written. That an age of anarchy is upon us. Let's hope I'm mistaken. The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire, to rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlin. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom, and then divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresbelg, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. I heard what happened, Teach. The Princess, well, the Emperor now, she really did it, didn't she? The lords and dukes of both the kingdom and the alliance have been called out, 
and now have to choose between the church and the empire. The seed of conflict was always there, and now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The empire is rash, but I never thought it would come to this. How could something like this happen? I hope everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass confusion at home right now. My brother must be worried sick about me. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but all we can do for now is prepare for battle and tread carefully. <laughs>